Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. It is the Q&A, the Q&A for September. Thank you so much to everyone who sent me questions on Instagram. Um, and did I do any questions anywhere else? I don't think I did, I think it was just Instagram. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, click subscribe for more videos. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and yeah, you know the drill, let's go. Let me find these questions. Okay, first question. Why did you decide to become a doctor and what keeps you going? Because I love people and I love science and it was a one career where I got to do both. I would have done dentistry but I did a taster in it and I didn't enjoy it as much. I actually shied away from doing medicine for so long because my parents really wanted me to do it and me being me, I was like, low-key didn't want them to be right about everything in my life um so i kind of shied away from it for a while but in the end i did some taster experiences shadowed some placements i was like i love this um, and what keeps me going <sighs> honestly medicine will answer that question for you and in fact i listened to a really good audible book the other day what was it called this is going to hurt by adam k which is a book by a doctor who stopped being a doctor i got very high up there's a senior registrar and then dropped out because it all got a little bit too much and it's a very funny book and actually made me love medicine even more weirdly enough i very much recommend that you give it a listen and um, but what keeps me going i really love it i love the opportunities that it gives you to interact with people to improve people's lives i love the fact that i can get home at the end of the day and know that i've helped someone that that gives me a lot of happiness okay next question how did you grow your hair <laughs> Thank you so much, you're so kind. This is not my hair. <laughs> um, my hair is quite long, I mean it's like down here. Um, but I use extensions and I did an Instagram story about this which I will put on my highlights so go and check that out. It's about how I style my hair. I haven't shared loads of stuff about my hair yet because I haven't found a place to buy extensions that is reliable and good um, and I'm still kind of winging it, I'm not an expert. How I grow my natural hair is that I moisturise it a lot and I use extensions in a protect way. <laughs> Next question, how do you get back into your fitness routine after a holiday? Um, I don't take many holidays but I know what you mean when you get back from a holiday you're not on top of things you're feeling really unfit like you've lost a load of progress and it sucks and you just don't want to go back to the gym. I usually work out a little bit while I'm away obviously not as much as while I'm here but I'll usually do the odd hit circuit now and then while I'm away but I do still get that kind of slump when you get back from a holiday and you're just you're feeling really unfit the way i do it is i don't beat myself up about it it actually takes a little longer to decondition than you might think so chances are you haven't completely undone all of your hard work that you'd put in leading up to the holiday i suck it up and i stop beating myself up because i find that when i mean to myself when i beat myself up about stuff i tend to live that out so if i'm saying oh my gosh i'm so unfit then i will live that out whereas if i get over it sweep it under the carpet it kind of gives me a clear head with which to start again my number one tip is to just get up and go whatever you normally do get up and start doing it even if you quit halfway at least you've done half a workout so just do it what i usually find is that after my first workout back i'm buzzing i have all these endorphins i'm feeling fit i'm feeling really good because i know i've done something good and then i'm like what holiday what lack of fitness so just get in there suck it up and do it like you would do anything else in life that you need to i hope that helps that's how i do it anyway how long have you been working out and keeping fit so i did athletics as a junior which is like from when i was like six to about 17 um then i had surgery on my knees and then i went back in and did first year so when I was 18 I was still training and then I was in uni and I stopped full-time training for about two years and then I got back into non-athletic fitness training for the last three or four years wow that's gone quick three or four years two or three years that's gone quick so a while but um, I have had a slump where I was unfit and then got back into it what motivated you to do videos on YouTube I don't know I wish I had written it down you know I'm not really sure. So, fun fact about me, I used to have another YouTube channel, which hopefully you won't find, um, and it was music. I used to upload covers and songs and videos of me singing, collabing with my then guitarist, collabing with this sick, incredible beatboxer, um, playing the guitar. Music was my, my YouTube thing, and then I stopped that, and I started a fitness one. I can't really tell you 
why. If you go back to my first video, you'll see the kind of videos that it was. It was just workouts. It was basically as an extension of my fitness society. So I ran a fitness society at uni and I just loved it so, so much. And I was like, I want to carry this on. I don't want to ever have to leave, even though I have to leave when I graduate. Um, and so I was like, I'll start a fitness channel. And so I did. And I just really enjoyed it. Who is your favourite colleague of all time? Multiple choice. Number one, Sama. Number two, Sama. Number three, Sama. Well, given this really democratic choice, um, I think it's going to have to be G, Sama. Thank you, Sama. <laughs> Any study tips for med school? Keep on top of things. Keep on top of things. As impossible as that is, keep on top of things and learn as you go. It is too much to cram, as I definitely found out myself. So learn as you go. It is stuff that you need to know lifelong anyway. So don't try and cram towards the end. At least keep up with the curriculum as though you have an exam every month. What's the best kind of Brexit deal we could get? Thanks, Jack. I will... Um save that one for my upcoming video on world politics and economics um, which I'm really excited to share with you guys because I am an expert in that field um, and I'm really excited to shed light on that so I'll, I'll save that question if that's okay. <laughs> um, what would you like to specialise in as a doctor? Um, I don't know, I don't know. I love so many different aspects of, of medicine and that's kind of why I've slowed down my progression through training because I'm like, ah, I don't know what I want to apply for, which is what I would have been doing in a few months. I would have been applying for different specialties. So I wanted to just pause and slow down a bit. I love emergency medicine. I want to do more of that and see more of that. I love palliative medicine, very interestingly. And recently I've been really enjoying practical things. Um, so more practical specialties um, and I'd love to know more about obs and gynae and when I say know more about it's very different what you do as a junior than what you do as a consultant if you follow the medical path you'll be a consultant for the longest period of time so I want to make sure what I'm doing every day as a consultant is something that I love so I'm trying to see as much of the lifestyle of different specialties as I possibly can before I decide so I'm still kind of unsure sorry but I'll keep you updated oh also I love general practice so general practice is quite likely that I'll do because you can do general practice and then have special interests which I really like. <laughs> I've just got a few questions there from my sister which are actually too rude for me to read out loud. If you were not a doctor what will you be? If I wasn't a doctor what I'd be? Uh, so I guess you mean career wise I say that as though you'd mean anything else but recently actually I've been Defining who I am separately from my career, and I think that's really important. I think we tend to define our identity and gleam our identity from our careers. And I think that can be like a little bit not the best thing to do because we are human beings, not human doings. So if I wasn't a doctor, what I would do, the other career I'd do would probably be dentistry, I think. Um, <laughs> it would probably be dentistry and I quite like it because it's quite practical as well. Um, I recently started going to the dentist again, Lord forgive me for my neglect, and I love my dentist. She seems like she has a really good work-life balance, so it would have been dentistry. Or law. However, both my sisters did law, and I felt like we can't all be lawyers, you know? Why are you so perfect? Oh, Jo, you're the cutest. She's actually, like, the most perfect person I know, so that is very sweet. Thanks, Jo. What is your advice on starting a successful Insta page like yours? Ooh, I didn't know mine was successful! Um, I didn't know mine was successful so <laughs> it's, so my advice would be uh, I don't know uh, uh, I'm just gonna say things this is in no particular order number one post things that you'd like to see if you were scrolling would that be something that you'd want to see and I'm not even talking about stuff that's beneficial just something you'd want to see and um, which I even struggle with sometimes so I think sometimes I post things that I enjoy posting but if I was scrolling I wouldn't be that fussed about seeing it so that's what I tried to do another thing good quality so recently I've kind of you know tried to improve the quality of my pictures and of all the things that I post posting regularly I think that's really important and be you it's cool honestly I find that the times when I've shared the most vulnerable things the things that I don't even want to share I'm like just I'm feeling really exposed and vulnerable are the times that my page has been most beneficial to people that people have responded and I've really connected and engaged with people on a really kind of personal level um, and so yeah a cute a cute shot is cute but being vulnerable and being honest about who you are and talking about your experiences I think can be really powerful because other people can relate and then you build relationships I know it's a weird way to think of relationships but that kind of is what 
social media is these days, it's relating with people and so I think thinking of your Instagram less as an Instagram page with which you want to make money or build a business or be popular on, I'm thinking of it more as like a channel through which you build this new kind of online relationship with other people, like remember that there are people watching you or, or, or looking at your stuff. And I think that helps. We'll see, I'll probably learn a lot more tips like collaborating with people, which I don't do yet, um, doing sponsored posts, all that other stuff I'm sure will also help you grow loads. And so as I grow, I will let you know. How do you pick yourself back up after having a really bad day? I love that question. Um, there's the honest answer and then there's the what actually works to pick yourself up after having a bad day. <laughs> um, so honestly, when I've had a bad day, I don't always react in the best way. So what I tend to do most of the time is depending on how bad the day, if it's a really bad day, I'm one of those people who eats less when they are genuinely sad. But when I'm a little bit sad, when it's just been a rough day, I tend to comfort eat. So I tend to come home and just like stuff my face with something, which is why I try and keep only healthy foods in the house. So I tend to comfort eat, which isn't the best reaction. Um, and then I will procrastinate and just sit around, distract myself by like scrolling through Instagram or Facebook, which then usually makes me even sadder because you just see loads of like world bad news or like people living their perfect lives. And then I do the thing which actually helps me to pick myself up from a bad day, which is I pray. I read my Bible and I pray and I talk to God, which is something that I've learned to do over the years because sometimes it can feel like you need to work away at the problem or just do all this just try do 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 and i find that it really helps to withdraw and to realign my priorities with what god says about me with what god says about life and our purpose here and to remind myself of who i am in christ and of what really matters if i've had a bad day in terms of relationships not going well or friendships not going well I can read my bible and God speaks his love to me and he tells me that he loves me even when I'm not the best even when I've made mistakes he still reaches out and loves me and there's a verse in the bible which says cast your cares upon him because he cares for you which is what I've been doing more and more recently and God really has been giving me so much peace and so much energy and the, the ability to to just, just kind of removing that stress from me removing this weight from my shoulders his word says his yoke is easy and his burden is light just removing that weight from my shoulders so then I can see clearly to do whatever it is I need to do to um, correct whatever went wrong that day um, but I find that running to God and knowing God as my Lord and Saviour and having that personal relationship with God um, is what I, is what cheers me up after a bad day. Yes, I can talk to friends, I talk to my mum, I talk to my sisters, I can chat through those things and the people I talk to actually are all people who are people of God, all people who love and know God. So often when I'm talking to, for example, my sister, um, she actually sends me to God. She'll encourage me, she'll build me up and she'll use scriptures as well, she'll talk about things practically, she'll give me godly advice go to the people who love me, who I know love me, um, and the one who I know ultimately loves me is God. So yeah, that's how I cheer myself up after a bad day. And I believe that is it for the question. Thank you so much to everyone who sent a question. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you wanna see, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>